Meanwhile, the nation's gas crisis now forcing some police departments to cut back on driving around because of gas. As gas averages five bucks a gallon nationwide, one Ohio police department is putting some patrols on foot patrol, essentially. South Zanesville's Ohio police chief, Mark Ross, joins us right now, live from Zanesville. Good morning to you, chief. Good morning. Okay, so, I mean, you've got a choice. I, I, you're already spending money, I understand, from the budget that was dedicated to buying new equipment on gas, but you're also having to park the cars more. How does that impact yes, safety? It, it, it really impacts safety because we're not as visible as we normally want to be, and we like to move around through our village and uh, let people see us. Have a lot of older folks, retirees that that love to see our cruisers uh, drive through uh, the trailer parks and in the residential areas. Sure. So what you're doing now, and I love the description of it, it's called a stationary patrol. Explain how a stationary patrol works. Well, stationary patrol is where an officer would uh, be in an area where he believes would be more visible uh, to the community, uh, like a parking lot that uh, is near the road or in a residential area where he's uh, visible through high traffic and uh, people can see him uh, or her that's uh, driving the patrol car and they can just sit there and be observant and, and be seen and, and uh, kind of turn off the car a little bit and kind of save a little bit of gas. Sure, I, I know it's complicated when you turn off the car because during the summer it gets hot and you've got a lot of equipment that's supposed to remain cool and that's problematic. But ultimately, be, yes, it is. because you are now parking the car uh, and a lot of officers are getting out of the car, they're actually having a pretty good dialogue with the folks in your town. Yes, uh, that's, that's one thing about our community. They, they love to see the police. Uh, we're very, they're pro uh, police here. Um, and they love to see us coming into their stores, uh, talk to the owners, uh, talk with the people that are patronizing the stores. Um, in having a good connection with our public. Sure, absolutely. Meanwhile, calls from the public into your police department through 911 and everything else are going up because of the summer months. U ultimately, yes, that's correct. You need to turn the cars on more, but given the price of gas, you just can't. And it's going to be like this, Chief, right? Un until the price comes down. Yes, that's until the prices come down, uh, we're going to have to adjust our budgets. Um, and we're, we're raising our budget up to 62 percent, and and we're we're going to be over our budget if it continues. Yeah, I, I think it was about a month ago you you had a four mil um, increase on the ballot, and the people there turned it down. Uh, you were going to use the money to hire another officer. It's it's probably because everybody is strapped, and they thought, you know what, we can't afford that, right? Right, that is correct. I mean, economically, uh, we're getting strapped here, and people are paying more on groceries, paying more on the traveling to and from work. And when you go to them and asking for more money uh, off their property taxes, uh, they're going to turn it down. It's just they're going to have to look what what's uh, important to them. I understand security is important for the people, but they're also looking at their budgets and, and how it's straining them. Uh, everybody is impacted in so many different ways. Chief, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, thanks for keeping the folks in your town safe. All right, thank you, sir. You Have bet. a good day. You as well. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.